Hello everybody, my name is Paul Basson and I'd like to welcome you to my quick tutorial of how to run the resonant mean scattering correction algorithm using our Condor pool. Okay, so going straight into MATLAB. Here we have two variables. The first, WN, is our wave number values and data is a matrix containing our spectra. We have 100 spectra here, just as a small test set of data to play with, which are, each of which is 1,504 data points long. The first thing we need to do is convert this data into bas map structures. These are a particular way of handling our data which is, uh, makes certain things easier. I'm just quickly going to plot our spectra just to show you what they look like. Here you can see that these spectra are heavily affected by scattering by looking at the uh, non-flat baselines on them. So these are the spectra that we are going to correct. So the first thing we need to do is save that zraw variable uh, as a mat file, giving it some sort of useful name. These spectra are from some prostate cancer tissue, so I'll just call this mat file prostate cancer. Here we can see that it's now in the same directory as our options file and our reference spectrum file. Now we need to press this button at the top called Basin Condor, which brings up a nice GUI interface. From here you can control all the things that you need to do for Condor. The first thing we need to do is go into the correct directory where our images are being held. We then need to split our data up into small packets to send out to our worker nodes. So we press the Condor split button and we select our image and we press open and then we select the number of jobs that we want. We'll select 20 jobs here which will mean that each computer processes five spectra. Then we click OK and we get some output informing us that these jobs have been successfully split. The next thing we need to do is submit our Condor job. This is simply done by pressing the Condor Submit button and the output here is a confirmation that 20 jobs have been submitted. These jobs have been submitted to cluster 384. To check on the progress of our jobs we can press Condor Q which tells us how many jobs there are and which are running. So this information here tells us there are a total of 20 jobs. Um, none of them are running currently which is why there are 20 idle and 0 running. However, if we press the button again now, we can see that now 20 jobs are running. It takes a few seconds for them to start initially, but once they've started, they work fine. I've skipped through time a little bit here, and as we can see, we now have zero jobs at this point, which means that all of our jobs have completed. The next thing we need to do is compile together all the bits of data which have come back from our worker nodes. And we do this by clicking Combine Data, and then we select the name of the map that we were doing earlier, click Open, and now it asks us which iteration number we want. Uh, the earlier example was done for 10 iterations, but just for illustration I'll select 7, and then we click OK. And we get some more output on the command window, which tells us that our data has been successfully combined. The combined data is automatically saved as a mat file, as you can see here. This one is called prostate cancer, core, iteration 7. The core stands for corrected. If we open this file up, and we have a look at the spectra inside. I'm just going to plot these quickly to illustrate what they look like post-correction. We can see that the scattering has been removed. These spectra have not been normalized, which is why they look as they do. Um, I have decided to leave out the normalization step so that people can do whichever normalization they feel best for them. Okay, so that's the end of the MATLAB demonstration. At this point, I'd just quickly like to thank two people, Jonathan Boyle and Ian Cotton, both at the University of Manchester, for their help with showing me how to use the Condor pool at the university. Thank you for listening. See you next time.